Good day, everyone. I hope this message finds you all well and excited for the semester to begin. It's go time. We have welcomed in new students and they're attending the week of welcome. We are excited for our returning students to move on to campus and into the surrounding neighborhoods. You all bring life to Salve and I've missed you incredibly. We're gonna have a great opening and semester. Yes, things will be different and difficult at times, but this is Salve and we've got this. We are a community that cares about one another and that will be our key to our success. Being good community members will be so incredibly important this year. It will be the difference between a successful semester on campus and having to move to fully remote again. I must tell you that I believe we have put together a great plan for reopening. We have the right policies, we have the right procedures. We have put the safeguards into place regarding social distancing, mask wearing, the hybrid learning model, ID carrying, adding a respiratory clinic to campus, on-site testing, etc. But a plan is only as effective as the, as the community members that are willing to follow the plan and they don't take on behaviors to derail that plan. When it comes to this fall, I'm concerned about a couple things. I'm concerned that decisions that don't prioritize our community and our ability to remain open alongside with decisions that violate policies will lead to incredible consequences for the entire community. We have witnessed universities open this fall only to move to a remote model within days or weeks due to large gatherings and the spread of COVID-19 related to those parties. Additionally, I'm concerned that our fears, which are perfectly valid in a pandemic and with everything else going on in our country, will cause us to mistreat or disrespect one another when faced with anything that causes us concern. That is not the way a community responds in a time of crisis. We must be open to others to, that ask us to put on our mask and keep appropriate distance. We should be comfortable asking another community member to adhere to the policies. We must remember that our policies are in place to protect us all. We must take care of one another, hear one another's concerns, and do anything we can to help. That includes wearing our mask, keeping gatherings small, less than 15 people, participating in the daily health screening, and being tested when needed. This brings me to the Salve Pledge. Please remember to sign it. You'll find it informative, and it will help you to understand the commitment all community members are making to keep us all safe. I know that I briefly mentioned the impact of gatherings, but I want to revisit the issue because it's critically important. Whether you are gathering on campus or off, please remember that there are specific guidelines for these gatherings. We must always maintain proper social distancing of six feet, everyone must wear their mask, and there must be 15 or fewer people present, including the host. Now, let's talk about the difficult and unpleasant news. You've probably heard about what's happening at other universities this fall. If individuals violate the policies and guidelines, the university will need to hold them accountable. We must do everything possible to keep our overall community safe and healthy. Please know that violations of these guidelines may result in suspension. This is not something we want to see happen, but it is a necessary measure to keep our community healthy. I want us all to remember that gathering is still important and permitted within the guidelines. This is a community of learning, and we learn best when we engage with one another. It is also important that we are taking the time to develop and nurture relationships and make new connections. So what is permitted? You can continue to have meals with one another. You can still gather in small groups around campus. You can still study together. Remember that those groups that we gather in must be smaller than 15 individuals, six feet apart social distancing, and we all have to have our mask on. While this is different than what we are used to, it is central to all our success this fall. And we ask that you take it seriously. Everyone in the community must be always carrying their Salve ID. Please remember it, because at any time you may need it to access a building, or someone may ask you for it to make sure that you are appropriately on, on campus. I want to leave you with this last note though. We need to be willing to help one another and accept help from one another. That means being understanding when someone asks you to put on your mask. It also means being a leader and asking your peers to put on a mask or keeping safe social distance. This is hard work, but we are asking you to do it alongside us. We will do this together. We will succeed. Salve's got this. I'll see you all soon. I'm looking forward to it. If there's anything I can do to assist you, please don't hesitate to ask. Go Salve.